Alright, so this is a sequel to the previous video um, setting up a, um, a, a scene with a reflective environment that is not going to reflect um, your, uh, your, uh, your, your background. So you want the set here to reflect the ball, but not to reflect all of your environment images, uh, HDR or whatever the case is that you have here. So let me go ahead and I will show you how to set this up uh, another way. So actually I'm going to show you two different ways. Um, so the uh, the next way that I would say to set it up here, you know, is uh, to use um, a weight map. And what you can do here is you can kind of analyze this, and this is going to be a little bit different kind of on a per scene basis, uh, but you can analyze what in your scene um, is being reflected where. So right now if we look here, where the ball is and where the reflection of the ball is, we're not really getting any reflection of the environment. And that's because the angle of the camera um, is looking at this so that what's being reflected in this lower section is the ball and then the backdrop. So it's not reflecting the uh, the the sky and the things around us. So what's reflecting the environment is this back kind of rolled part. All right. So with that in mind, what we want to do is limit the reflections on the surface so that um, there isn't a, uh, a reflection here on this part. So if we look at this, we can see that basically we want this area here to have some reflection and we want all this area to not have some reflection. So what I'm going to do first though is I'm going to divide up this area just a little bit more here. So let's go um, loop slice and let me uh, press F2 to bring up my um, my modeling tools. So let's put a loop slice set through there and then we'll do the same thing here. So now we have kind of this section here which will have weight to it, weight set to 100% and then it will fade out through these polygons to where everything past here has zero weight. Alright, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm go ahead and close my modeling view. I'm going to select all of these right here and then we're going to go up to our vertex map list and weight maps. I'm going to make a new weight map that we will call, uh, let's call it reflection. And we'll click OK. And now, actually, sorry, I'm going to need to bring my, uh, my modeling uh, panel back up. So I'll press Shift W to bring up our weight map. And let's set this all the way up to 100%. OK. And now if we look at this in our vertex map mode, we'll see that we have 100% right here and that through this set, uh, strip of polygons, it fades out to zero, okay? So now what we need to do is we need to set this to adjust our reflection. All right, so now we can close that. And let's go into our floor material here. And I'm gonna add, um, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to uh, add a processing and we want to use a weight map texture and since we have this weight map already selected um, it's going to it's going to plug in automatically and what I'm going to set this to instead of diffuse color I'm going to set it to my uh, my specular Fresnel alright so um, we're having zero specular at uh, direct angles and then at our Fresnel at our glancing angles uh, will be up to a hundred percent but only in this area right here okay so um, so that's how you could set that up really quickly with a weight map texture if you have something where you can set up a weight map uh, another way to do this would be based off of a gradient so here let me go ahead and hide this <clears throat> and I'm gonna go here to my material layer here and we're going to do uh, we're going to create processing a gradient all right and of course it's gonna get all funny here I'm gonna leave it on diffuse color right at the moment um, or yeah that'll that'll be okay um, and we're gonna change our incidence <coughs> from um, or excuse me our input parameter from incidence to sample parameters and we just want to go distance to locator all right, so distance to locator. And I'm gonna go here in my value. And actually here, sorry, let's go ahead and first, let's change this to our reflection amount now. So, or excuse me, our specular Fresnel, just like in the other one. So right now it's all at 100%, which obviously is not what we want. So we're going to at zero meters, um, in other words, right at the, uh, the locator, we can have that at 100 and I'm not sure the scale of this scene here so let's start I'm just gonna take a stab uh, and say at two meters we'll put it down to zero so here let's go ahead and set that to 
uh, zero. And that apparently is not a good thing because we're not getting anything. So here, let's go over to our item list and I'm gonna open up my texture group and I'm gonna select that, uh, that gradient texture. And we can see there's the reason why is because it's floating kind of up in the sky. So let's make sure that we are in um, item mode. There we go. So I'm gonna select this gradient texture and I'm gonna take it and move it down to where it's on the floor. There we go. <clears throat> and you can adjust the position again based off of you know where your camera is. So I could move this kind of out here. So my 100% reflection is happening kind of between the camera and the object here. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna press O so we can see our camera, so we can see where it is. Um, okay, and actually here we could go to the camera perspective too. That way we can just kind of move it in between here. And then from that, I can go in and I can adjust my gradient. So here, let's go over here to gradient and let's check our value and there it is. So I can pull this out so it is taking more than three meters. It could take four meters, something like that. Yeah, we'll give it three. Three ought to be pretty good. Um, so now it's going to be at 100% right here, <clears throat> but it's, uh, it's going to be at... Uh, at less than 100% as it falls off in this area around here. Actually here, this is getting a little confusing with the vertex map on here. So let's go ahead and change back so we get rid of the vertex map. Um, all right, so that works and that's fine. Now you may, however, also want to set up something so that you have more than just uh, Fresnel reflection. You might want also some regular reflection um, at non-glancing angles. So there are a couple of different ways that you can do that. Um, you could take and make a, um, you could make a an instance of whichever one of these you're using here. Let's use let's use the weight map right now. So you could make an instance of the weight map, and then you could multiply the weight map by something else. You could do that here in the shader tree, but uh, just for fun here, since I'm thinking of it, let's go ahead and do this in the schematic view. So what I'm going to do is I can take this material and oops, this material, and we're going to add selected. There we go. So we have it out here in our um in our schematic view and we want to have both our specular amount and our specular Fresnel. So our Fresnel isn't up there so we'll select Fresnel in the properties and click add selected. So now we've got specular amount and specular Fresnel. And then I'm going to take my weight map texture and I'll add that as well. So what I can do is I can take my value here and I can plug that into my specular Fresnel. So there's our value and we can see really nothing has changed so I could hide this actually sorry I can't hide it because uh, then it doesn't plug in but um, I've got my value here um, going out so you know we we have that plugged into our specular uh, Fresnel but what I could do is I could also um, plug that into specular amount see watch if I plug this into let's just unwire that and we'll plug this into specular amount um, that plugs in there as well. And actually, I'm going to do something a little bit different here. I'm going to go down here into nodes. I am going to turn this off so that you can see how this works. So let's, inside of our nodes, I'm going to add, oops, a weight map texture inside of our nodes. So now we have a weight map texture node. And I'm going to get rid of this one here. So let's just take this and pull it out here. There we go. So, um, <clears throat> so here with our weight map texture, what I can do is I can set this out to specular for now. And oops, sorry, I plugged in the wrong thing. I want to take my texture value, sorry, and plug that into specular for now. There we go. So um sorry, I'm doing this off the cuff, so <laughs> this is not practiced uh, ahead of time. So we've got our texture value now, which has the entire gradient uh, created by the uh the weight map, we have that into our specular Fresnel, okay? Um, and if I unwire that, just so you can see, and we plug that into specular amount, you see we get this, um, you know, kind of uber glossy mode where it's uh, it's getting really bright, tons of reflection because we've got uh, essentially 100% reflection right here, which is way too strong. So what we would want to do is we'll want to take our texture value here plug that into the Fresnel, and then we want to go with a lower value and plug that into the specular amount. You know, so if we were going to do this um, 
you know, with our material, we would probably want something like, I don't know, uh, two to 5%, uh, specular amount and then a hundred percent for Nell. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to add, um, and we'll go into, um, oh, actually I've got it here. Let's see, we can go to math and then I'm just going to do a multiply node. All right, so we'll plug our texture value into the top of the multiply. And then on the bottom of the multiply, I'm going to put 0 0.05. So we're going to multiply whatever comes in here, which is going to be 100% by 0 0.05. And we'll put that into our specular amount. And there we go. We get a little bit of that kickback. So if I pull this out, you can see... <clears throat> You can see that that specular amount is, um, oops, and actually here, I've got to turn off my Fresnel in my material or you won't see the difference. There you go, because otherwise we're getting that 100% Fresnel all over. So you can see here is, this is just our 5% um, our, our specular, and you could multiply this by anything you want. So I could, um, I could go up to my basic math here. I could go to 10% by putting in 0.1. You can see it's just going to get stronger. Um, I could put in... 50%, 0.5, but that's going to be way too heavy. So let's go back to, I'm going to go back to 0.05. So that's a 5% reflection. And then we'll take our texture value again, unmodified, plug that into specular for Nell. And now we have a 5% uh, reflection and a 100% specular, or excuse me, 100% for Nell. And then you're set and ready to go. So this is all done all inside of Modo now. You're not doing this with... Um, without having to uh, render out and do a couple of uh, different passes and then compose those in Photoshop or After Effects or whatever the case may be. Now, it's a little bit more set up here inside of Moto, so uh, really it's it's up to you. Uh, you can decide. And the other thing is, and the thing to note about this, is this is not going to be quite as... Um, as good depending on the angle. So you're going to have to set this up on a per camera basis. So there can be a little bit more setup this way. So like just you'll notice here, if I rotate around this way, you'll see that we do have reflection happening everywhere. And here, like if I rotate up top, you can see that we have reflection in this area. So depending on your camera angle, you know, doing it this way may or may not work. Uh, you might have to set up something like a, a gradient or you might have to just actually uh, render and compose it. If you can't get your camera at a good angle where you're just getting your, your sphere or whatever your object is reflected uh, here in front and then kind of black all around. So, you know, depending on your scene, you may have to set this up a little bit differently. But if you set this up um, as I have it here with uh, your background, oops, meant to not move my camera. Um, there we go. Let's go to my perspective. There we go. If you have this set up like I do with the rolled backdrop that goes up pretty high so that you get something to kind of block your reflections up here, then you should be all right with something like this. And uh, and really, it's a pretty simple schematic setup. Or if you can handle just having uh, the Fresnel reflection, then by all means, you could just plug in just your weight map or just your gradient map, plug it into your uh, specular Fresnel um, or your reflection Fresnel if you're not using specular and then matching your your uh, reflection to your specular. So hopefully that's useful. Um, and if you have any questions, by all means, uh, put them down in the comments. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.